Oh, hey. <laughs> Good morning. I am Tina. This is Cheating in the Wild. Um, welcome. My most ethical crew. Exclusively. You can sit here. <laughs> We're having, um, a little makeshift breakfast. I know. It's like breakfast on the go. But, um, I'm not on the go. <laughs> I'm just going. So, uh, yeah, just having some yogurt after my two Eggo waffles. Because I had to substitute, like, I have a, I have a thing for <laughs> garlic naan in the morning now. <laughs> so, um, now that that, um, we don't have any right now. Um, yeah, we, we resulted in having Eggo waffles. Um, and some gardening time. And, uh, and I'm going to throw in some sunflower seeds in it. Just, I don't know why. Sometimes I, sometimes I have pregnancy, um, uh, tendencies. Not that I have baby fever or anything, but I'm like, I just wonder what, <laughs> what that would be like. Hmm. Because yesterday I had yogurt and some cashews that were unsalted. And, um, I sense the saltiness of somebody else's stuff. Oh, and so, I don't know, um, I, I just saw two, like, disguised, um, hate email, I don't know, hate comments on my YouTube channel, and I'm like, it was, it was so hidden, because I didn't really get notification for it, I was just kind of monitoring, um, you know, seeing, you know, how, what I, you know, give versus how other people respond. And not to manipulate things, but just to, like, look at things. Just observation, you know? Um, and I was like, why is there a comment? But I didn't... Where are these, like, comments here? But I didn't see any notification for it, like, either in my email nor on, like, the posting. And sometimes it does that, like, if there's duplications or something like that. Maybe it's just I'm not tech savvy. But for these, definitely, I, I went into my spam. I was like, it's not there. What, the, what happened? And um, I think they were disguised because they went out of community guidelines or something. I don't know if they were. <laughs> I guess they were that hateful. But, um uh, yeah, angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. Chak my chakras, my auras, my space, my work, and that of our children's. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, it, one of them was like, I don't know, they were not sober for sure, for what verbiage they put together. But something about like, dude, I don't even, like... This person definitely does not know my story. Or if they do, they are just, uh... I don't know. Making up stories and hoping that people who drop in are going to, you know, latch on to that. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, I didn't even understand sometimes. But I realized, oh, that must me that must be a marker for me doing well. <laughs> like supremely well and wonderful things are coming. So much so that the polarity has to kind of balance out so you don't phase it, you know? One of those like checkpoints um towards the finish line. Kind of bit of a refresher, like Oh, you have Gatorade only? Oh, I I, I really just wanted water, that kind of thing. Or vice versa. And um <laughs> it's just to remind you, like, just to keep on going. And, um, regardless of the flavor before the finish line, <laughs> or even right after. So, um, anyway, uh, then the second one I saw was, like, from a few days ago. I didn't even know. I think that that's, I'm being, uh, like, sh not sheltered, but protected. Um, to be kept safe while I go through these transits. So there's divine timing and even the realizations, like the discoveries of, you know, foul mouthing or whatever. And you have to realize that people are in their different states, in their different arenas for um, just cause. So this one came from the last visitor that I had. Um, and she said, you are so rude for blocking me, um, out of no reason whatsoever. And my, my ancestors are basically going to hear about this. And, um, and it's like, and she said, you are so rude for not asking me for my permission 
to pull cards um and I'm like on me and I was like um I already got your consent by you sitting in on the reading while I was asking it in fact you were laughing about it you validated it so you going around twisting words to suit your um just because like I um didn't keep you on board so that you could suck my life force out of me for your own um inventions or uh your own ideas um to exploit you know to exploit me and profit off of um and try to like pretend like you're from my tribe dude no no i take no offense to that you know why because it's a non-issue to me that is your challenge not mine okay i'm just simply saying I choose not to have that around me. <laughs> uh, I, again, no fakers. Like, even <clears throat> people who don't even realize that they're fakers. Um, but this particular told me, like, if you're from my tribe, you would actually have a conversation about it rather than lash out at me. Um, and you would, you know, sit in on the readings. You wouldn't just <laughs> sit with, like... <laughs> people you think that you're there's it, it's insane after one sitting I know my patterns I just as you know others get their own you know callings in life I I I know mine is totally legit so you know I don't know what kind of turbulence she's working with but hmm That is the before taste. Wish me luck. Because these are... Oh, these are unsalted too. Mm. Tina has no fun. Just kidding. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. I, fi I figure it can't be that bad. Like Mediterranean, like there's tzatziki sauce so made out of, it has yogurt base. And then they have like kernels or whatever. They, I don't know. I don't cook that, but not yet anyway. Huh? Mmm. You're yucky energies creeping up into my space like two foul spiders. Not really foul. I don't know. I um but spiders in general. I know people are gonna dispute this, but spiders in general are um a sign of like um evil dark forces. And people are gonna dispute that. I mean I I still figure it's a, still a, a legit spirit totem, but when it comes to like light and dark bodies, um, that's definitely mm, not. Um, no, um, there are some exceptions, but the ones that are coming through, I know, <laughs> are trying to block entry to my happiness. And it's like, what kind of like your 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 magic is so petty, seriously. You know why? Because your intentions are petty. Your goals are like... I used to think that like not having goals or not... Um, yeah. Uh, like not figuring out what... Understanding what goals are um, was a huge disadvantage. But I didn't realize that having shitty goals, um, petty, you know, born out of petty um, desires, is, it actually tastes good. So um, adding it. Um, it's my substitute granola, so it's like not super sweet. I just, sometimes just a little Gemini in me. So, um, yeah. Um, I forgot what we're sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Angels, help remind me. If, okay. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um. I I took I handled them. Um, one had to go, the other I let loose into its own arena. 
it's, it's gonna be okay. It, um, I'm just, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I was called to do that for both of them. Um, and then, um, I did my gardening thing just for a little bit refresher. Um, and then I went to my room. Hello. And, <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit. And I, uh, noticed that what I thought was originally a mosquito, like some weird, uh, like, I didn't even think it was 100% a mosquito, but I, I knew it was something else. I don't know. So it, it's here. It, it made it made itself clear to me that it wanted to stay. I kept putting my finger closer and closer to it so I could, I could um, probably take it outside or something. Because I, I looked it up and it's a stick bug. <laughs> it's a baby stick bug. It wants to keep me company. And you know what? It le it chose Dex for me. That that one is a protector right there. <laughs> it's not scared of me. And it made itself like, it was brave. <laughs> to, to come up against my finger. Ooh. It's okay. Um, but it picked the um, wild unknown archetypes. And then it flew on to right next to it the vice versa tarot i don't know what i'm supposed to be asking but i'm supposed to be using those okay mm. Yeah, because sometimes this, um, this yogurt can be really sweet. And I don't, I don't know, it's just too much for me. So I need to tone it down. I don't know what kind of vitamins sunflower seeds give. I don't think it says on here. I've, it's a great source for vitamin blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Hmm. said pause due to poor connection what the frick I, I'd have to believe that's out of protection mm -hmm. my angel protection plan Somebody gonna give me a gift? Hmm. Things are balancing out, my dearies. Mm. Oh, the mother. Oh, somebody's gonna give something to my nest egg. <laughs> It's one, it's the magician. Uh, the crone right behind that. Um, so death, if we're looking at the major arcana. You know, for a crow to deliver something shiny to you, with a star on it, six-pointed, that's beautiful to me. Um, you have the stone inverted. Oh, so I guess it's like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Gosh, these cards are thick, so I have to make sure nothing's... The Bardo inverted. And the Hunter. Right. It's a dark night to be so... Okay, what is this mean? What is mean? Hmm. That, that uh, stick bug likes it where it's at, so... I don't know. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My special, special sentience circle mm -hmm. is um doing an offering. They're giving me something for, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, instead of the eagle has landed, the crow has landed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're in, in disguise, incognito. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is the stone? Mm. Leave no stone unturned. This is very personal. Mm -hmm. Because the bardo is on the in-between. So what's the in-between me? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm hearing? Stone free to do what I want. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I got to, got to, got to get away. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what's happening. Okay. So, in order to get away from, you know, this limbo, um, something about searchlight. Hmm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, I gotta look. I gotta write this stuff down. Okay. Give me a second. Ba, 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 da, ba. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Stone, free, and searchlight. So, it's important not to get, um, I, I think this is a little bit of like a, a subtle warning. Subtle warning. Please keep your seatbelts on. The ride is not over yet. Um, so, we're about to experience the base dropping. Some would argue, you know, as a roller coaster ride, you, you're going up, you're going up, you're going up. That that's supposed to be like the good part, the good stuff. Not the good, but the good stuff is going down. <laughs> so, um, that's where things build momentum. And um, I, I'd have to say that that I never thought about it like that because when you think of a roller coaster, there's just like you look at it in totality and. And um, your subtle consciousness thinks that going up automatically because of its verbiage and how it's used, um, that ascension is like the best part of it. <laughs> no, the feel goods are, are, you know, the opposite. So, mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. Hmm. So. I got this weird picture. Not of like a candy apple with sunflower seeds all over. That's kind of, I think that's what people see me like. They see me. I was like, what the frick is that? And then like, huh, not so bad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um All right, the hunter. Yeah. Um so like I'm like why is what does this have anything to do with this these other things I experienced this morning? And I think so. It's just not paying attention to that particular energy that delivery, the messaging system, but rather um the delivery in the greater scheme of things, right? Right spirit, is that correct? Mm. <gasps> mm. Okay, you wanted to come out? Sure, come through. Oh, it's the king again, and the offering. <laughs> yeah, accentuated here though. Um. Oh yeah, for sure. So the king, like, <laughs> so this is the offering. It's coming forward, Tina. It's coming forward, and then he opens up his hand. And there it is. Sealed. Mm hmm With, like, basically his personal signature. Mm hmm It's a pearl. Hmm. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. 
That's crazy that that came out again. <laughs> it's not crazy. It's good. All right, should I be switching over to the other deck? Or Spirit, anything else you want to say? Okay, my special sentience. Okay, no interference. If you carry any ill will, if you harbor any ill will, if you uh, generate any ill will within this setting, within this reading, I'm going to have to automatically rebuke you, your energy. You just got to go, okay? <laughs> I got to do that. I love myself too much. I've come way too far. I just wanted to say that at first, okay? So. All right. We got the village accentuated and the prayer inverted. Mm. Okay. So the personal um, good tidings, well wishings that I have are very much... Um, I'm going to be able to touch the world for sure. Starting with my locality. Mm-hmm. The color scheme is very much correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I am being delivered an audience that's fitting for me. Mm-hmm. Because, look, it's, it's like emerging out of that nest egg thing, coming through, reaching for diamonds, and then there's a pearl right there, something right there. Actually, those are diamonds. But there's a lot of energetic auras coming about, and it's an emerging, just like out of that nest egg right there. So, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of things coming through. Okay. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to help people, I'm going to help pull people through, like, this, um, what feels like an abyss, you know? Interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck. 20, Pilgrim, inverted. The search of an adventurer. Okay. Judgment. I want to see what's behind that. I don't know. Just for me. The cave and the shadow in reverse. Oh, yeah. Definitely helping people pull people out of um, um, their darkness. I mean, like, because it's been like that for so long. Hmm. Okay. The heart inverted, okay, strong in the heart chakra, and the top of the deck is the vessel inverted. Helping them see the beauty in their own um, positioning, how the world positioned them, like how they partook in that decision making process. Mmm. I was kind of like that girl that didn't get her way with me. Um, so she could further take advantage of my energy. Um, about the consent, basically. Hmm. Alright. Scoot that on over a little bit. All right, now I have to get my um, other cards. Sorry, Sticky. Do I have to get it, okay? Chill out. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna fly off, but look. You see that? It's right there. It's right there. Hello, man, what's up? Do you want to go on my crystal and stay here? You go here? Oh. Here, let me put you here. I know, I know. Chill out here. Why don't you go over here? Uh, 
Okay, I wanted to go on my ankle instead. All right. I told you we're kin. <laughs> we're kin. What's up? Okay. Let's do this. Okay, what do you want to tell me? My little stick figure here. Stick, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Stick insect. What do you want to say? Okay. Where are you going? Pooh Bear? Okay. It's on Pooh Bear. Okay. What do you want to say? <sighs> There's, um, coming out of the darkness. Oh, I helped them. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love it. I love it. Oh, and look. Oh, my gosh. I told you. See? They're bringing forth that egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's a snake around it, too. Like, freaking crazy. Huh? All right. What's up? Maybe I wasn't supposed to, like... I don't know. Touch it. I, I don't know. I didn't know why it flew off. I just wanted to put it in my palm, but it doesn't want to go in my palm. Maybe there's... I didn't know I want to go in my palm. You know, some of my recipients say, oh, they don't want to say. But why don't you want to say? Oh, because I would download a lot of information from them. <laughs> but you went on me. You made contact with me. What the heck does that mean? Oh, it's a Knight of Wands energy. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Oh, they just wanted to give some good vibes. Oh, two. Yeah, oh my god. What? <sighs> Look at that. Two of Cups and um, Judgment. I'm accentuated. And the Eagle. Oh my gosh. And the egg. What the frick? This is crazy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, um, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say? Oh, look, it was, uh, ten of cups and nine of Pentacles. Something just dropped. What just dropped? Oh, this thing. Okay. Oh, okay. We're taking refuge in each other. That's absolute happiness. When we're stranded in an area that... <sighs> but definitely. Nine of them. Oh, there's fertility here. Absolutely abundant. Self-sustaining. Um, okay, so they're really happy that they found me. That's what they're saying. Okay. That we found each other. That's a good thing. Yeah. Hmm. Feeling jaded. All of the feels of that. But there's one cup. There's one cup hiding a shit ton of emotions. And they're just. They're feeling it. They're scoping the premises out. Do, 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 do. There's that one. Um. Hmm. For right now, it's just like private time, chill time. Oh, you know what? You know what happened? Okay, I don't mean that as condescending. Like, what do you call it? When somebody pats somebody on the head, like patronizing. I didn't mean it like that. But look, this person is looking out in the distance, really bummed 
that um and jaded that they have to leave you know a certain ship behind you know leave a, behind a a certain crew like a large crew um you know what they're not really it's not 100 percent bummed this person made the decision for that i was wondering maybe like they cut him off but it doesn't look like that it's just like that shit is done with but lurking behind a cup, there's there's something that's getting into the feels. Like it's an awakening or something. And hmm, hmm, waiting till the coast clears. Instead of waiting for the ships to come in, the ships are already here. A real ship. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So just waiting till they go, go away. Yeah. Two of Wands in reverse. Seven of Cups. Strength in reverse. Five of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse. The Magician. And Justice. Mmm. Justice has come through because um, this person took um, command of their power again, turned their back on unhealthy relationships that kind of misdiagnosed them, told them the wrong shit, um, made him, you know, weak, mm -hmm. um, almost deathly. This, these are, um, these are. Um, this is a crowd that put them in um, lethal situations, like something that, yeah, because we have a scorpion here right here, that there is a lot of mystery behind it. So, like, as long as, as um, large of a relationship as it was, whatever this, like, crowd was or this person, whatever this commitment was previously, um, however long it was and how, how much it called from you, it still was not clear. There was still mystery behind it. There's a lack of clarity and, and being put in dangerous, very compromising situations. Um, I mean, also, <laughs> hoes be hoes. So there were some hoes thrown in the mix. Um, yeah, but they were like set up as distractions almost, you know. Um, and it wasn't even like. They were just like surface level distractions. You could tell like there was no depth. You know, like in, I think, Total Recall or something. You know, there's certain relationships where it's just like very surface level. Hi, how you doing? You know, like, love you, goodbye, that kind of thing. There was, but there's no real like substance, substance. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. And you just like look good on the outside. Like it looks good on paper. And the aesthetics were there, but it was like almost like fake, like plastered fake. Anyway, here comes through many options to consider. Mm, maybe like a lot of um, women thrown this way, um, or that I could be <laughs> a very legit distraction. Um, <clears throat> Amongst as many other options, it's very obvious that um, this person um, is starting to size things up correctly. Or is in the mode of that. Mm -hmm. But piecing the, the puzzle together. Oh, look, this person is submerged too, just like the moon card that we've seen in um, um, the Book of Shadows Tarot, so below. The moon card, submerged. It's either the moon card and or... Um, temperance. Mm-hmm. So, either way, um, it's dreaming up, um, the manifestations, um, but also tempering, um, nice to have versus must have, you know, like, like, nice to have versus must, yeah, nice to have versus must haves. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, <clears throat> that was kind of like the history. They wanted me to see that back point of view. Um, 
because they're standing up within their own power. And so justice is, is met. It's met with um, the protection of justice and transformation. Oh, and, oh my gosh, new set of scales are, you see there's a new set of scales, so the old one is like, it's a new measure. Mm -hmm. the, this is wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. All right, anything else? Okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why do we get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? With a hawk by her antler. Is that, who is that depicting? Like, what is that energy? Maybe working on their love. I, I, maybe, is that them or me? I don't know. Uh, Knight of Cups and then Six of Swords in reverse. Hmm. It's like they're funding their love undercover, almost. I mean, like back turned, I can't really see them. It's the Knight of Cups and, um, like Six of Swords in reverse, helping me navigate through calm waters. In calm waters, because, you know, we've gone through the muck of it. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but in a sense, like, I can't see them, but they're, I don't know, I'm, I'm protecting them too. I, dude, um, I'm the queen of wands, but, like, the back is right there. Um, I was just seeing, like, a bunch of roots on this too. So, like, also as I'm loving myself, you know, it's it's igniting that, those interests. Um, and reciprocating that, like, undercover. Um, root systems, vitality, like, those are moss kind of roots. Um, these are, like, um, roots of, you know, major um, trunk system. Interesting. They got a thing. Um, nine of swords in reverse. Oh, so they're not stressing anymore. Even while um, seeing, you know, heartache, seeing heartache for what it is, but actually letting go of, you know, the ten of swords, you know, like it's it's no more. It, it's seeing it for what it is now. You know? You don't exactly drop the knowledge of um, what causes pain and all of that but it's more cognitive rather than um, like attached by the heart chakra now so that's why they're not sweating it anymore yeah it's from transformation mm -hmm, definitely looking at it dead in the eye you know so um, definitely Transformation. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, I think that was good. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna pull one more card to seal the deal and get bananagrams. It's hard to get. Did I get two? I did get two. The shapeshifter and Eros. What? This. <laughs> Um, uh, somebody is absolutely in love, but, um, it's kind of not, I think this just needs some balancing out, because this is, um, I don't even want to call it obsessed, but this is the card that marks obsessions, like, Mm -hmm. Um, so, but it's backed by Eros. Somebody's like madly in love. Madly in love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you certain? 
Let's see here. I'm going to look up in rooms. LXXI. Oh my gosh, that's an shit card. Love is desire, eroticism, and sensuality. That's what I got from the Queen of Wands, but dude. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. When light, passion, playfulness, sexual health. When dark, madness, projection, obsession. I told you. I told you. Okay. The Hindu goddess Lalita, she who plays, can help activate Eros. Um, energy. She's also known as Kamashvari, Empress of Desire. Ooh. Okay. Um. Okay. So Plato reminds us that Eros can be experienced as Platonic love. It is activated when we witness beauty and truth in the world when our barriers soften. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Unbridled sexuality, eroticism, a more contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the to the root of desire itself. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? It says the root of desire itself in red. Do you see that? That's crazy. I know it's kind of like backwards here, but um, yeah. Well, what do we long for? What are we? Um, why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros connects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being, nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite. Our heart um, embraces otherness, and in doing so, we further understand our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an inevitable initiation to love's labyrinth. You may find yourself swirling into a new territory of desire and sensuality. Explore the labyrinth with a curious and honest heart. And remember, though the way is circuitous, circuitous, yeah, you are always being led towards its center. Okay. So, you got the shapeshifter too. So, you can you have to see what that's all about. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The trickster, the elusive, the formless. <laughs> mm. Vibrant, adaptive, humorous. When dark, charlatan, people placing trickery. Somebody trying to trick me? Fuck. Fucker. <laughs> Clarity, spirit, just you and you alone. Jesus Christ, yes. Jesus Christ, okay. No interference. Did I get two again? I did get two again. The gem and the animal in reverse. Oh, so this goes beyond the instincts, okay? This is um, it's something that you want to pick up. Definitely you want to collect. Um, definitely something worthy. Um... That there's, um, mm, let me see here. I'm not finding the words for it, but like there's a certain consciousness to it. Oh, right here. The beast, the wild one, the she wolf. Uh, spirit wants me to live. That's what's going on here. Jesus Christ is like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ wants us to live. Like, for real live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ is saying that they want to live. They want us to live a little more. 
So, um, this is mischief managed. That's what they're saying. Because it's not ultimately bad looking at the shapeshifter in this. It's, this this is something that's malleable. It's something that can um, twist and turn like, you know, a crazy <laughs> um, roller coaster. But they're saying that it's safe. It's... Um, but, like, we're not playing it safe by playing this, you know? There's something... adventurous about it um i heard death defying you know um yeah um yeah, so this is going to challenge us in a new realm of temperance because it's going to be, like, wonderfully exciting. <laughs> that's, that's what they say. Okay. The Father pronounced High Priestess. Okay. Okay. Um, this would lead to a lot of growth. Like, it's so fortifying. It's so reassuring. It is, um, like a safe haven. This connection. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Oh, yeah. And it's, and it's, um, fun. It's, it's very much fun. Remember that crow that was holding the, the, um, penny, that copper coin um with um the six pointed star well it only has like one part of the star which is a triangle pointing down so again with that roller coaster um ride thing yeah um it's 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 gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> even when things are in black and white and like shifting and moving and crazy um it would it's yeah they said it's going to be fun. All right, so banana grams tag. Huh, it's still on Pooh Bear. Okay. What do you want to mean, Jesus? For us, E, foundations. P Y T E I V G N T T Y C R B P U Q L T K F I. Um, let's see, invite. Pity, petty, pretty, CLR, Back. Hmm. In real life. Hmm. Girl. Eric
Um, Letty, like Leticia. Betty, like Betty White. I mean, it could be I E or, or Y, but um, Kit or Kitty, Kent, Neck, I don't know why I'm getting Neck and Neck. I think that's dead, dead. Um, Hmm. Um. Oh, I'm seeing F U C K, but it's like scattered here. You'd have to really look for it. Um, Vic, like Victor. Picture. Um, that's Weezer. If you want it. You can have it, but you gotta learn to reach out there and grab it because everybody wants some love. Shooting from the stars above. Um, so no, I can take more. Something I can never let it be. Something I don't know. Oh, you've got picture here. Okay. Mm. Someone plays soccer or something like that. American football. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Or football. Um, no, but yeah, um... Because I remember in... They have two variations of that music video, I think. If I'm recalling correctly. And one of them, um... I realized when I channeled it a long time ago, I didn't, I didn't know. It was like, it's crazy how the messaging comes through. But, um... That was the first time that I saw that. Um, so I know that one of them they're playing soccer or something like that but I didn't know that before on the first one so it was just it tripped me out mm, okay a lot of consonants left like a lot a lot mm, 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 mm. Pilky. Um, it's that, uh, Dave Pilkey again, you know, the, the author. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know how he would find his way around to me. Putty, putty. Bulky? Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting that as Pilky. I think it's with an E. Let me just double check. Yeah. I don't know, since this is the second time that's coming around, I feel like I'm supposed to put that together. Um, but yeah, I, I only remember Dogman, but it, it I remember there was something bigger, which was Captain Underpants. <laughs> which is, um, it's like a common, like it's a big favorite in, um, children's books. Um, my, uh, my, um, younger son loved them like we had the complete set and read it over and 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 like he's an avid reader um and with great intelligence so um the things that like I think there's just a sense of comedy behind that which he thoroughly enjoyed rather than the um straight up like square academic nature of other reads 
Um, so there's there's a certain de- like there's certain areas of intelligence, and you can tell that um, someone is absolutely like genius level when um, they can then when their sights um, go beyond um, the mechanics or like the technicalities of um, what one considers intellectual. So, um, like a lot of people say, um, that the Simpsons, um, are, is very much like within that league. And, um, I'd say that, um, if that is as validating as it is, then it would also carry the same for, um, Pilkey, um, that, uh, but at surface level at like, even people say that even for, um, SpongeBob, um, but there's something very much like you can't see that at bare surface level, you know. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we got um our hands on every single book on that, and when it came time after like you know as they. Um, got older, we, um, donated them to the, I, there were a couple ones that I had kept, um, but, uh, like, that had certain writings in it, or whatever, but, um, their, like, the collection we, um, donated to the local library, because they have, you know, books for, like, a quarter, or whatever, and, you know, it just really helps people who are, um, in, um, need to access their own, you know, realm of, um, luxury within the realm of, like, imagination, you know, to expand upon that, so, anyway, um, boop, 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 boop. yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody's really, um, into art, we have the Getty here, again, Um, so all we have left is consonants to work with. FYP, something about for you page. Um, that's mainly, um, generated around TikTok as far as I know. Um, your feed is intellectual artwork. That's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. But it's very relatable. Mm-hmm. But prestige within its delivery, like it, it holds its own artistry. Mm-hmm. So you attract that kind of audience. Bunt. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I have very strong intellectuals here. Woo! I like it. I like it. <laughs> I mean, we also have spirit strong with us. Okay, so bunt is, I think, a football kick. I don't know what the deal is with football here. Maybe soccer or football. Um, if you're looking at the Spanish tense versus, you know, English, it's it's something about. Bunt, like, yeah, definitely kicking a ball. Or even kickball, you know? Um, that's interesting. I don't I don't know why. But um, um, that also tells me about my own separate business, too. There's, like, a kickoff or something. But there's it's, it's very, very directly related to what I started a long time ago. That that was considered a kickoff, like, a starting point. That I, I planted a seed in the universe that, um, in universes, um, that I would do this or that. So this is, um, something that I have to, I should really be taking up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To focus on that rather than just how many hours can I get out of this current job in order to, like, make ends, you know, somewhat meet. Um, there's something greater that, sh- that I should be working towards, but, um... I have to figure out that balance because I, I'm still doing these videos and stuff, so, I don't know, um, there's something about the manifestation within its timing, 
every time I do an output, but I shouldn't hold myself to the um, superstition that it's just generated within what I'm doing here, that, that um, there's, I can do that um, production elsewhere, you know, in other facets of my interests. <sighs> okay. EV TV Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Some okay, so definitely strong IQ here. And like you know like how there's those quadrants. Um I I forget. I think the first quadrant is the left side and the second third, fourth, like it goes like that rather than, yeah, I think it starts at that top left corner, but, um, there's something about, it's kind of like covering two quadrants, but it's like, okay, so we have north and west. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what Northwest is Kanye's kid, something like that. But, um, there's something about, okay, so north is earth. Am I getting that right? Yeah. And um, west is water. Okay. Something about globally intellectual. Is there something about being received well on, um, like, there's planetary alignment here, like, where it stands with our, our essence. Um, but there's something also about TV and VP, like almost like dominating the airwaves here. Um, mm, that's wonderful. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um, some people might be from, um, no, like travelers from Nevada. Um, or traveling to Nevada, but I think there's something about that. Um, the spirit is very strong here, and um, there's no other place. I'm going to just show you, okay? I don't want to keep on going, but this is what I got to do. So you got the Getty, Pilkey, okay. So um, one was picture, that's the magician. Two is Pilkey, which is um, the high priestess, like um, kind of like a divination um, connection with the divine direct. Mm -hmm. Three is Getty, which is the empress, um, abundant within its artistry, very fertile within um, the growth mindset, um, elaborated in um, various forms of artwork that are absolutely timeless and um, commendable. Um, four is, I think, FYP. Yeah, for you, Paige, which is um, spirit right there. Um, the emperor. Oh, yeah, dominating. Yeah, it's like very strong. Okay. Um, five is bunt. Um, um, that's a hierophant. Um, um, what else you want to say? Six is IQ. It's kind of six and seven. So that's lovers and getting traction. Oh, my gosh. That is for sure. That's um, me and my special, special sentience right there. Oh, my God. What the heck? My hair just came down. Um, okay. Um, and then, um, <laughs> so that, that's six and seven. Um, this is either seven, eight, or eight and nine, which is, let's say that's six and seven. This is eight and nine. Um, eight would be TV because we originally saw it right here but I was looking if there's any other place that I could put it in um and I could not so um that would be um eight right here is strength and nine um which is which is nine the hermit mm -hmm. um dark knight of the soul um inner alchemy um looks like I'm command of that okay that is a lot of stuff to cover, but um, that was excellent, all because of this stick. Um, it's 
stick bug. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All because of that stick bug, my dear. Um, that was crazy. Okay. Um, what else do I want to say? I, th I think that's it. Um, but now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, my supporters. Oh my gosh, look, what what was underneath that was temperance. And, like, just kind of immersing self in all of that, you know? This, this is not, this is not, oh, he's being trapped, okay? Because guess what, like, I'm just staying put for a bit longer because there's a ten of pentacles right over there. That's freaking crazy. But it's just, like, kind of, Nobody's, like, really seeing what it takes for me to, um, build that kind of balance. And it's fine. And nobody else needs to see it but me. Um, um, but that, that we have that. So that's excellent. Mm. Um, what else do you want to say? Yep. Yeah. So, and um, thank you very much for, um... Your support, all donations provided in light and love are received and employed accordingly. Um, thank you for um, respecting my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of our children's. Um, now that this reading is officially over, upon closing all portals, I send all energies back with their appropriate karmas due. Helping assist with that rollout. In light love. Close all portals. Now. <laughs>